Now King's house. But I'm very interested for the business of Jamaica. I mean a war. Certain nation feeling you can't come by on the country. I'm full of the country. And this is for the children of the people in the country. And I don't know when visitors come to our country. But this is for them. So Jamaica is a very educated island, yeah? I mean, know Jamaica is a corporation business here. The Solomon Island. And Jamaican people, you are the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Study on them things there. We will be introduced as a reservoir of knowledge. Don't use it for program if you don't want to use it. Use it for the yourself. Use the internet to get where you couldn't get to school. Where you don't pay so much money for. It's in order to feel that. Shalom, shalom. Call her law. Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, that's all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I just want to do a quick video touching on this reggae singer, Sizzla, finds roots and promotes the study of Hebrew. Okay, so you saw that video three years ago. He told you so called Jamaicans, okay. And West Indies that you are the Hebrew Israelites okay and you are Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Benjamin you see if you are a so-called Jamaican or West Indies on your father's side your roots go back to the Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible man okay and this truth is for you you know this truth is for you the most highest for you you see and only you man the most high is not dealing with all people he's only dealing with his people you see, so it says the reggae, it says the Jamaican reggae artist has been said to be urging Jamaicans to study their true Hebrew roots that was lost after being taken into slavery. OK, you see that you said to study their true Hebrew roots that's been lost after been taken into slavery. And, you know, let's grab this uh, Joel three and six. All right, we're going to grab this Joel three and six real quick. OK. Because what you see in here is a great awakening, man. Okay, and as our people wake up, this man's uh, kingdom is falling. Okay, it's crumbling. Okay, and it's going to be the end of America, man. It says, um, hmm, I'm going to start at verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried away into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The Lord is talking about the who? The children of Israel. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold into the Grecians. Uh, it's like unto the Grecians. So right here, the Lord is talking about how these uh, heathens, uh, Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine, you know, these heathens pretty much came together to put us in slavery, man. OK. I'm, 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 a, I'm a let me read from the top. Let me read from the top. Verse one, for behold, in those days and in and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, which happened, you know, we, we are in captivity to this day. And this is going to be the last captivity. OK, we've been through seven captivities as a nation, and this is going to be the last captivity. OK, verse two, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down unto the valley of Jehoshaphat, which means, um, you know, it's, it's really Yahweh Shapat. Which means the um the the valley of decision, okay, or Yahweh's judgment, okay, um, because what what's going to happen there is World War Three. All these nations are going to gather there, okay, and they're going to be destroyed. It says, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. The Lord says He's going to plead with all these heathens because they're all going to gather there, you know, and they're going to fight against each other. Okay, which is over there pretty much in the Middle East, which is the direction. <laughs> All right. They're going to be over there and they're going to be tussling and fighting. Okay. And what's going to happen is the Lord is going to show up. And he, when he when he says he's going to plead with them, he's not going to get on his knees and plead. And the Lord said he should not meet thee as a man. He's coming to meet you in an angelic body. Okay. And what they call a, um, a, a, a UFO invasion. Okay. He's going to invade this place and destroy all these heathens that have took us captive, man. Okay, and deliver us out of this captivity. So now it's high time for you, Jakes, to wake out of sleep, man. 
Now it's high time for you Jamaicans to realize who you really are according to the Bible. Okay, to repent and come back to the true power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, or you will be destroyed. It says, in part of my land, they part of our, our land, which is Jerusalem. You see, they're, they're over there fighting for our land. That's not their land, that's our land, but they're over there fighting for it, right? It says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given my boy for an harlot and a girl for wine that they might drink. So this is what they did, man. You know, they sold us into slavery. And, um, you know, a part of that slavery was our children getting sold, okay? And we lost our heritage. We lost our roots. We lost our nationality. We lost who we were. You see, they wanted us to speak their languages. You see, our oppressors, they wanted to speak their language. They, they say, oh, no, nah, you're not going to speak your language no more. You're not going to call upon your God no more. Your name is no longer going to be this name. Your name is going to be this name. Or that name is going to be this name. You see? And in this Bible prophecy that in these end times, we will wake up and come back to our power, man. All right? Which is a blessing. Okay? So I got some scriptures here. It says, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, Barakatha. Uh, so I, I, I put a Barak that I didn't mean to do that. But it says, um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So this word has been preached in all the world. The whole world is hearing this word. The whole world is getting a testament of, the, uh, of this word through the Lord's prophets, man. You got Israelites all over the world. You know, on the highways and hedges, pushing this word. Okay. It says, so lucky. Uh, for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So after the whole world hears this, this is going to draw us closer and closer and closer to the end. You see, the total annihilation and destruction of America and these uh, European countries, where the Lord is going to deliver us out of this captivity. And put us in power to rule over these nations, man. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 27. For evil shall be put out and the deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And right now, this truth is being declared all over the earth, man. You see, scriptures talk about in, um, I believe, 2nd Ezra about the ones who stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, teaching the Hebrew. You got camps out there that say, oh, we ain't put to teach the Hebrew. We put the you know, you know, they got a problem with the Hebrew. You see? Nah, man. This word must go out. This word must go out. If you want to get out of captivity, if you want to get out of America, you should be doing this work, man. You should be on fire, man. You see? Or, you know, you know, uh, fight, fighting to get on fire, man. All right, one or the other. It says, oh. Second Chronicles chapter six, I mean, seven, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. We need our land here. We need our land back. You see? We have, hey man, we have disobeyed the Heavenly Father, man. We have trespassed against Him, you see. But it was prophecy that in these end times, we was going to remember ourselves. Verse 15. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend unto prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen... And sanctify this house that my name may be there forever. And mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Where? In Israel, man. You see? This is why you got Jake's coming back to, you know, th their Hebrew Israelite roots, man. You know, I was at work today, as a matter of fact. And I just happened to talk. I just happened to be we were, we're working in this different department at my job. And there was this, um, you know, some Jake's there I never met before. You know, I was really quiet, you know, just literally just listening to my videos, whatever, my headphones, whatever. And um, by the end of the, the um, you know, the shift, me and the brother started talking. He's an Ephraimite brother, you know, and he was, you know, just explaining to me. So he started just, you know, it's, it's all through the spirit, man. But the first thing he go to talk about is the New World Order, <laughs> you know. So you already know where that conversation led to. 
he go to talking about the Islam. I mean, Islam, how that's some bullshit, and how to, you know, you know, you know, brothers on the right on the right track. I was like, oh, okay, okay, you know, man, might know something, man. So you never know who around you is seeking this truth. Whoever who around you is studying this thing, man. That man said, yeah, man, I, hey, man, I know a lot, man. I've been studying, I've been studying, you know. So you know, that's a start, man. That shows you Jake is waking up. Jake is coming from the darkness. Jake is rising from that dust, man. Coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and truth and sincerity, which is a blessing, man. This is, this is, you know, a miracle that our people came from slavery and are coming back to the most high in truth and sincerity. This is a miracle from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. This is mercy, love, and compassion. You see, we all deserve to get put to death, man. You see, without Yahweh Shai, but our Lord had died for us. So that we will wake up in these end times and come back and seek him. Second Chronicles chapter six, verse 37. Yet if ye be think it, yet if they bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captive, but bethink me to remember. You see? And this is what's happening. You got Jake all over the world, even these celebrities, you know, these um uh um artists and these performers. And you know, they used to travel all over the world. And what they're seeing and they're realizing is that we are the true Israelites. You see, and they're coming out and they're speaking about it to their millions of followers. Okay. It says, yet if they bethink themselves in the land, and this is happening all over the world, man, all over the world. You see, we here in America, you know, we really don't, you know, you know, but besides the, the Benjamin brothers that's here, you know, we don't really, you know, know what's going on over there in Jamaica. We don't, you know, you, you, we might not listen to a lot of their music. But then you never know how over there the same, you know, awakening that's happening here is happening over there. It's happening in Italy. It's happening in uh, uh, Russia. It's happening in China. It's happening all over the world, man. You got people waking up, you see, because we are coming closer and closer to the end. Wake up. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captive and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, saying we have sinned and we have done amiss. And we have and have de uh, dealt wickedly, which we have done. You see, we all have sinned. We all fall short of the glory, man. Ain't none of us perfect. We all need salvation. We all need to be saved, man. You know, we all in these, you know, ho ho horrible, you know, conditions and predicament. You, know, you got these Christians out here. I think they're so righteous and so perfect. You're looking at some of the videos this guy um rap, um rap the news did and you know this guy really thinks that he's righteous he thinks that he don't sin you see he, he he thinks that he's so perfect he thinks nobody has the truth but him we're gonna do a video on him so we ain't gonna get into that all, all that in this one but it's just go to show you how lost our people are and how far they have fallen you see the man was you know cursing <laughs> our lord in the names in the names and you wonder why you in the position you in verse 38 if they turn to thee with all th their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, which only a remnant is going to do, man, here in America. Okay, then you got um, a great multitude scattered abroad all over the world, man. Okay, even in America, it's a great multitude, but all over the world, you got Israel scattered. And that's going to be that remnant of the majority of Israel. Because the majority of our people ain't going to make it. They're going to be destroyed here, man. It says... Whether they have carried them captives and pray toward their land, which thou gavest that unto their fathers, which is why we pray to the east, because right now we are in the west, and 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 and, and our land is Jerusalem, okay, and toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house which I have built for thy name, then hear that thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place. Their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. So like you. And the Lord's going to maintain our cause, man. The Lord is hearing our prayers and our supplication, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is seeing our works, man. The Lord said your labors are not in vain. So all these works that we do, even though we ain't perfect, even though we fall short, even though we still in this wicked, vile flesh, we still end up going off and sinning, you know, whether we know it or not. You see, we are making prayer and supplication, you know. For the Lord to maintain our cause, man, to deliver us. We want salvation. We want to get the hell up out of here. We want the kingdom. We want a new bodies. We want to, to America to be destroyed. We want to see our enemies pay. This is the feelings and the spirit 
that the elect are going to be in in these end times, man. They ain't going to be lost and confused. They ain't going to be taking this shit for a joke. And it just shows you, man. This man is a popular reggae um, a singer. And he's teaching Hebrew. You should be teaching, man. Ain't a reason for a grown-ass man to know this truth and be sitting on your ass, man. We got work to do, okay? The labor is plenty, but the laborers are... I mean, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. And forgive thy people which have sinned against thee. We have sinned against the Heavenly Father, man. We have sinned against our Lord. And this is why he sent Yahweh Shai down here. To be the lamb to deliver us from out of this captivity, man. Okay, the sacrificial lamb. Now, my power, let I beseech thee, thine eyes be open, and let thine ears be attent unto the unto the prayer that is made in this place. So, meaning the Lord's eyes, is because at one point the Lord turned his face from us, man. But now he's starting to hear our prayers again. You see? Now, therefore, arise, O Yahweh. Baha Shimiao Shai, unto into thy resting place, thou in the ark of thy strength, let thy pr priest, O Yahweh Baha Shimiao Shai, be clothed with salvation. He said, Let thy priest be clothed with salvation, man. The priests are going to be the men that's out there teaching this word, man. Prophesying. Okay, doing this work, man. So let them be clothed with salvation and let thy saints rejoice in goodness. Call <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. O Yahweh power, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, turn not away thy, the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, thy servant. That's what we need, man. Okay, we need the Lord to remember the mercies of David, to have mercy upon us and forgive us. And this right here that this man is doing is a sign that this man may very well be of the elect, man. You see? This right here is a, is, is a clear sign that this man may very well be of the elect. Because he's teaching the right Hebrew. You know, I, 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 I see don't go into the Hebrew. None of these other camps really, really, really been going to the Hebrew, man. Okay? We are in some beautiful times, man. You are in some beautiful times. Okay, praise the names Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. Okay, come under the right banner, okay, of Great Millstone or GMS and learn this truth and truth of sincerity so you can, Lord willing, be delivered out of this place, man. All right, with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Asharala, Ababa Ball.